Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, <laughs> no it's not crochet. Now, I got some craft resin from craftresin.com. I've got some micro powders. Now, I am a complete, I am going to say a complete beginner. I've done one pouring with Sandra on the video that was posted a few days ago. Now, I'm going to try <laughs> and do a full dream catcher. Now, this resin is really easy. It's an A and a B resin. I've got resin A, that is the resin, which to a lot of people, it, it, it's like plastic. And we've got resin B, which is the hardener. So this one makes the other one hard. And you use equal amounts of both. Now, I'm going to move them off to the side. That's the resin that I'll be using. I'm moving it off to the side. Now, this is the little cards that I got with it. I don't have a lot of gadgets and whatnot. I'm going to move this off to the side as well. I don't have all the things that a lot of the other resin pourers have. But even in the short time I've been doing this, I have learned a thing or two. Now, if you're a beginner... What I got told to clean my equipment was as baby wipes. Oops, I've got a pack here. So I've got a big pack of baby wipes. And I can take a baby wipe and I can clean off things. So I've got those on hand. The second thing I got told, they are Bovril cups. <laughs> I get a lot of those packs with the Bovril in it with the cup and I keep the cups I keep the cups if you're a McDonald's keep the cups keep keep things and reuse them so I'm going to use this to mix it's still again it's got the markings on it to mix I really do like using these because they're nice and bendy for my hands I've got a little pouring spout I've got a, a pointy one on that side and on that side. So you can really pinch it and and pour little amounts in. What I've also got is just a pokey tool. Find a pokey tool. This has got this is an embossing tool that I've had from my crafting. A toothpick, anything that's got a sharp little point on it. Even I've got I left it out, where is it? Even use a spare sort of darning needle just to pierce the big bubbles that come up. Now, the one expense that I did go to, I bought one of these. I saw everybody with one of these. Now, if you've got me like wires up here now, be flaming careful because this is a little blowtorch. <laughs> It's used for cooking. It was only six ninety nine. A really cheap one. You can buy the ones from the pound shop, but um, the flame burns slower on it. This, if you've got a bigger one or one like this, just to burst the bubbles off the top of it, and you do it really quick like this. I've watched some doing that. So that's the expense that I went to for that. The micro powders and the resin I got from the same company. And this is a pack of 30. There's all these beautiful, beautiful colours. Now I've taken the ones out that I'm going to use. So now I can move that aside. I'm going to use mint green. Then I'm going to go to turquoise. Then blue glow. And finally this darker blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm hoping... I'm hoping that I can do, that's not sticky, what I've got down here is, I got a bunch of flowers and they had this wrapped around them and I kept it, I've kept this and that's going to protect my desk, now this is the mould I'm using, this is an 8 inch mould and you get the this whole set from Amazon, you get the mould, you get the feathers, you get the little dangling piece that goes in the middle. This is the way it goes. This is a little bit smaller than the Dreamcatcher one that Sandra's got. So I've got all my mould ready. 
I've also got these little ones. Now, little tiny moulds are good for all your tiny little scrapings rather than waste it. You could make yourself a little set of earrings. I've got these just off to the side. I've got everything that I need all near me. I've got a little couple of pokey sticks just to make sure that I can get around these parts. These dream catchers have a little rubber stem. That's to make the hole so that you can hang the feathers up. We did do a video of there were larger feathers, but Sandra took the mould home with her. <laughs> and she's made some. I'm going to put a picture up because she has made some beautiful feathers. I'm going to do this one this time. So, this little pokey stick, it is clean. It's just, it's been all wiped. This is just to make sure that I go around there and there to make sure the resin goes in around there so that you've got the hole to hang up and you get a good mixing time so I'll do mix that in that's the mint this one is the blue glow now I haven't got a lot in this one This one's not mixing through. That one's a mint. This one is the blue glow. This one is the turquoise. I got that wrong. This is the turquoise. This is a metallic one, but look at the difference in that one. Very, very clear, but... And this one is the blue. And these are micro powders. And again, this one doesn't leak. <laughs> this one's not liking getting mixed in. That's coming up now. Maybe I should have put the resin in first and then the colour. So I've got that one. So I've got my mould. Put that in the picture. Now, what you can do is you can use a piece of tape to make sure you've got no hair or anything. In your mould. Just use the sticky tape and make sure there's no cat hair, dog hair, dust, little particles in your mould. Just use the sticky <laughs> cellar tape. Oh gosh, Alison. We will burst any bubbles. You can see that the it's beautiful. So I'm going to go around this. And I've got my plastic down just in case. Just take your time, don't rush it, have some patience. going to do is I'm going to mop up my mess 
and make sure I'm in all the little crevices. I need to just give that a twirl in the middle, up and around into there, down to that one. Right, stop. So we're not going to fiddle with it anymore. So I'm going to quickly just work on these. Any I've got left, I've got other moulds that I can use. I'm just going to drip it in. Just gently. Now it's been sitting for almost 24 hours and it's still slightly soft. So if you want to manipulate this, you can. I'll take my camera up a little bit. Now that's that mandala. And any little bits you've got, just use your cello tape and it'll take those little pieces out of your mould. So you've got a nice, fresh, clean mould. This little one's got a heart and I'll put that one in my sticky cello tape. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I'm going to cut myself a double piece of yarn. I'm going to double it over. Like this. And put it right through the middle. Now I could use the jump rings and put it on but I think I might actually just be better to do it like this do it with some fringing I can so I'm going to pop that up to there and I'm going to thread that if we do it again and double it what we'll do is let me think
So this is my dream catcher all finished. And I'll put a few pictures of it up outside. It turned out really beautiful just for the first one that I've done. It's turned out really, really pretty and I really like it. And I'll be able to put this outside because the yarn will be fine outside and so will the resin. The resin will last a lifetime outside. So... All I have to say now is thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel, whatever way it is you do, whether it's subscribing for free and clicking on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial or clicking on the members button and supporting the channel every month or even just simply buying me a cup of coffee via the coffee link down under the video. I want to thank everyone for all the support that's given to my channel. Now I know a lot of people put names in that up but I've got quite a lot <laughs> that don't they don't quite fit. And once again happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.